Yo, 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 what up YouTube, YouTube, and this is the Goblin, and today's video what I have for you guys is some Diamond VMP gameplay. So this is using the Diamond VMP with extended mags and the grip as well as the elo sight, and today what I'm going to be talking about is how to get the high kill streaks in Black Ops 3, and how to in turn, when you get those high kill streaks, turn that into a super high kill streak for you in the game. So we'll get right into that here, but if before I get into that, if you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, be sure to drop a like or a dislike on this video. I'm looking for some some feedback so at the end if it th you think it deserves a like or a dislike make sure to leave that down in the comment section below and let's get right into it so when black ops 2 first came out this is the first black ops 2 is sort of the first time we saw this sort of place down in call of duty where it's basically like if you get your kill streaks you're going to absolutely destroy people and if you don't get your kill streaks you're not going to do that well and that's basically how it was in black ops 1 as well and black ops 3 is kind of like that as well and treyarch is getting a name for that ever since the customizable kill streaks have came back into call of duty so basically Black Ops 3, a lot of people will say the killstreaks are pretty weak, which they can be on certain maps. And this is what I sort of say. If you're, you're playing on Combine or you're playing on a small map like that, Combine, Aquarium, Fringe, Nuketown, those are my four favorite maps. Stronghold, you could maybe throw it in there. If you're playing on those maps, then these high killstreaks are going to be absolutely deadly. I'm going to teach you guys how to get them. So the high killstreaks that you're going to want to run pretty much all the time are going to be the Wraith and then the Hater and then the Raps. These are very good. If you're on a bigger map where the Raps really won't do that much, you could swap out the wraps for a UAV. I like to do that sometimes because the UAV is good at helping to find the enemies, of course, and um, that's good, of course. So let's go into the tips on how to get these kill streaks. So first of all, in the game, there is a perk called Anti-Up, and I thought this perk, at uh, first, I thought this was going to be like Hardline. It was going to be very good and uh, in this game, and when I put it on, I actually realized Anti-Up only gives you 75 points towards your streak, so it's really not even worth running Anti-Up unless, you know, you really want to, um, or you're really struggling to get those kill streaks, and you always seem to die one off. That's the only reason that you'd really want to run the anti-up perk because it's kind of ridiculous. Hardline in Black Ops 2 made you get your killstreaks 20% faster, I believe it was. And in this game, it's only 75 points, which is equals out to if you're going for a hater like 5% faster, 7% faster. It's absolutely ridiculous that they nerf Hardline that much. And I think that it's kind of bad in this COD. It seems like they're just nerfing pub stompers and nerfing good players because they don't want the killstreaks to be too powerful. They don't want the UAVs to be too powerful or the counter UAVs. And the hater only lasts for 30 seconds and can be shot down, which really does suck. But I mean, what else are you going to do? You can run non-lethals or you can still go for these high kill streaks. And as you can see in this round of Dom that I'm showing you guys right here, I actually go 52 to 3 in one round. So I kind of set myself up on pace to get 100 plus, but I ended up uh, failing the 100 plus and I went like 81 to 8, I think the final score was. So to get these high kill streaks, you probably don't want to run the anti-up perk. It's really not worth it. And to get these high kill streaks, the best way to get uh, huge kill streaks for an average player would be to play kill confirmed and just go for the tags that are worth 100. Because in kill confirmed, you really need to make sure you're, if you're killing, you're only, your kills are only worth 50 points, but your tags are going to be worth 100. So you need to make sure you're picking up every single tag if you're playing that kill confirmed. And now if you're playing domination, this is the way that I like to play domination and how I usually get my kill streaks very fast. So what you want to do is you want to not capture the home flag. The home flag is only 50 points. You want to rush straight to B. You want to hop on B and hop off of it over and over to get those capture kills. Capture kills are actually worth 200 points. I know, you heard me right. 200 points, man, instead of 100, which is going to be double your score and it's going to help you get those kill streaks a lot faster. But if you once you get that flag, that's going to get you an extra 200 or 150 points for capping. And then if you just kill people around the flag, uh, you get those attacker, you get those defender medals those are also worth 125 points and by doing that you're in turn going to get a lot of points on your bar towards your scythe or whatever kill streak or specialist you, you're using i recommend the scythe and once you get that scythe it's very easy especially with the scythe or with the annihilator or the sparrow or uh, the flamethrower any sort of guns like that you actually get 25 more points per kill so basically how to get these high kill streaks is in this game since they made it kind of harder to get the high kill streaks you need to make sure that you're optimizing your points every kill is going to be worth a lot of points and that's that's basically how I've been able to get these high kill streaks and to once you get the high kill streak obviously you're going to call in your wraith you're, you want to call in your wraith I see a lot of people call it right in the, in the middle of the map you want to call it over the enemy spawn then you want to call in your vsat or the hater and then you want to call in the wraps and now why the hater is up it doesn't last that long it's not like bo2 where you can cycle from that hater right to a next set of streaks if you rush and play it smart when you get that hater you're not going to have enough time to get up to another wraith but you will have time to get at least halfway up there and then you have to make sure you don't fail it and clutch those last three 
three or four or five kills up and then you can cycle through the kill streaks and that's how to do how to get these high kill streaks and how to in turn turn that into a super high kill streak in black ops 3 because if you're if you're cycling them and you always have that hater up i mean you're really not going to die when you have a hater up and when you're getting so many scythes and stuff like that it's going to be really hard to die but hopefully these tips will help you guys get the high kill streaks hopefully these tips help you guys in black ops 3 if you guys are struggling because they have made it a bit harder for pub stompers and uh, i'm on my sixth prestige now you see in this gameplay i'm fifth prestige 50 i'm actually sixth prestige now i'm trying to grind it out to a master i didn't really play that much on the double xp weekend because i was really busy with things which sucked i only got to play for one day of that but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video subscribe to my channel if you guys are new i'm looking for some feedback make sure to like it make sure to dislike it leave some feedback on this video thank you guys for watching have a great night have a great thanksgiving if you guys are americans and i'll see you tomorrow with two new uploads on the goblins channel i'm out peace subscribe for more